What is going on YouTube? It's Sank. We are back with another one. Now in this drop, coming at you guys a couple of plays and I bring to attention before I kick things off. If you'd like to help out the channel by hitting that like button because it keeps the show rolling. All right, guys, so that wraps up another day in these markets. Now, as I was saying to you guys over the weekend, this week is a heavy hitting week when it comes to earnings. We got the massive technology plays coming out, reporting their numbers. Anytime this happens, it always brings heat to the market with volatility. You guys saw that unfold today. That being said, we get most busy on the red days in these markets and I've been picking up some plays. So what I wanna do is use this one as an opportunity to guide you, put you guys in the right types of lanes so that we can close out this year and start. So as always, in this one, I've got an action-packed one for you. So let's run the first one. So I'm gonna kick things off with this one. Let's take some RTX, that's Raytheon Technologies. Now, before we head over to our high-flying growth plays, I'm gonna make sure you guys are in on this winning play for the second half of the year. Now, first up, check this out. Look at that market cap, guys. It's 131 billion dollars. You guys gotta make sure that you get a handful of 100 billion dollar plus plays in your portfolio. Yes, they're not gonna move as quickly as your one, two billion dollar plays. However, these are ones that if you select the right plays, They've built the brands in their respective industries, okay? They're operationally sound, much less risk, and are on course for future success. So they are still gold mines of opportunities for us as investors. Now, I know some of you guys, you're in plays like Apple, plays like Google that fit that criteria, but those are tech plays. There's other winning industries and sectors that you guys wanna be in on the action, and Raytheon, they will cover off aerospace for you. The rebound and continual growth we're gonna see in the space. Now, Raytheon's a play that I've brought to your attention before, and as a matter of fact, we spoke about this play last week as one of your must-have long-term plays, one of your buy and holds, one of your set and forgets, and on the day, just showcasing a little bit of what they're about, up 2.5% on the day. Remember, that was broad red across the market. Any play posting up any bit of green on the day, regardless of what the circumstances are, did very well on the day. Now, this is one they came up with their earnings, blew through estimates, they're on course for great things. That's wanna make sure that you guys are in on the action on this one. Now, if we check out the charts, we can see this one's consolidating with that top resistance at $89. If it wasn't a red day, if it was a green day or a normal day out there in the market, off the back of their earnings, they would have smashed through that top channel and they would have been into the 90s. So it's a good opportunity for you to get them where they're at right now at that $88 mark before they make their breakthrough and continue upwards. Talking of which, I'm expecting this one to close out the year, $105 to $110. Thereafter, there's further upside for us as investors. Remember, that's ticker symbol RTX, Raytheon Technologies. We're gonna add this one to the portfolio. The next that I couldn't resist picking up in the market today, that's ticker symbol DAC, that's the nails. Now, this one should be very familiar to you guys now. This is our channel ship and play. This one came down 5% today, but I'm gonna let you guys know this one's no stranger to moving up those types of amounts and more in a single trading session. So this type of level of volatility shouldn't alarm you. In fact, it should excite you because we know those shipping rates and the shipping industry remains exactly the same as it was yesterday, as it was last week, okay? And that plays into their favor with cash windfalls. That being said, earnings are fast approaching. So the idea is to accumulate your position in this one to the run up to earnings, which should drop the middle of August. So I'm gonna make sure that you guys have got your position in this one in anticipation of a earnings blowout on this play and reinvigoration of that stock price. So check them out, ticker symbol DAC. Our next play, that's ticker symbol CZR, that's Caesars Entertainment, standing $92. Now check this out, on the day we saw this one as low as $89 before making a recovery. That's why I say to you guys, if you've got high conviction in the play, make sure you guys are looking to make entry as low as possible because the rebound can happen quickly and you can get some great returns on the way back up. This is a strong play going into earnings season. I already dropped you guys the Intel Nevada revenues, casino revenues are at record levels for May. So going into the next couple of months, I'm expecting the momentum to continue and build all playing into Caesar's favor because they got that rich portfolio of hotels, casinos. So they are positioned very well to benefit from this from a financial point of view. And that should feed into that stock price. As I say, we're going into earnings season. I'm expecting to post up some phenomenal numbers. So this is a play that you want to be in on. I like this play around the low 90s, catch them 92, $93. Great entry on this one. I've still got my end of year price target of $130 on the plate. Plenty of upside and returns for us investors to make. 
Our next player, that's ticker symbol MTCH, that's Match Group. Now check this, on the day, we dropped down as low as $159. Below 160, that's the buy zone. Then by the end of the day, we left the buy zone, this one closing up 162. That's why I make sure that you guys are setting your price alerts or setting your limit buys so it can get you into the play once you hit our buy zone. Okay, so this is another play that make sure it's on your watch list for a pullback into the buy zone. This is a great reopening play. I'm expecting them to have a very good second half of the year. So to make sure that you guys are positioned on this one, another one of our winning plays. All right, guys, so those are the players we've got for this one and the moves we're going to be making with. Now, as we continue to navigate earnings season, I'm going to make sure you guys are up to speed on the jargon and how you can use Intel that we get to your advantage as investors to make money. Now, in this one, I want to speak to you guys about guidance. I already told you the two key pieces of information any play comes out with on earnings is going to be the revenues and its earnings per share. But some plays even go above and beyond and release their guidance. That's going to be numbers they expect to do for the rest of the year. Now, what it does is it shows you management's conviction in the play and their momentum. So it's a golden opportunity for us as investors because we get a future look into how the business is performing. Now, the way you can make money as investors with guidance is that if a stock releases its earnings and the guidance comes with, and there's a muted reaction from investors or even that stock goes down, but you know guidance is strong, you know that's a golden opportunity to capitalize on, jump on the play because you know the direction they're going and that's on the up and up. Now, a lot of plays don't release guidance, but those that do, as I say, it's a great opportunity for us to get an insight into the business, a forward-looking insight at that. And you guys now put you on sound plays fundamentally that always smash through targets and often a lot of them release their guidance. So if you've been rocking with the channel, you know what time is. The question is, how much should I buy match for? Now, what I want to do is go one step further with this one and give you guys full 360 coverage on our buying strategies. So I want to cover when and how much to buy of a play. So we cover off when, first of all. You guys know, I always give you the buy zone. So when it triggers, you can start making entry into the play. But it's what I want to say to you guys, the buy zone isn't going to be the lowest price you're ever going to see for the stock. That's something you guys need to get accustomed to, okay? The buy zone is a great entry price for the play for you to make great returns over the year, over the given time horizon that we are going to be into the play because nobody knows the very low any play can reach. You know markets can get turbulent, plays can get oversold and often extend into the red. But as I say, the buy zone is the point in time where you are going to make great returns over the time that we are going to hold the play. So that's something that you guys need to understand, okay? And how much to buy? All right, let me go into the details on this one. I always say to you guys, you want to have around 20 plays in your portfolio. So if you're dealing with a 20,000 pound portfolio, then every play, for guidance, you want to allocate 1,000 to. This will keep you guys diversified and most importantly, very importantly, no one single play will have pull over your entire portfolio. And this is key because plays, they can move wild from time to time and you don't want that play completely just deteriorate in your entire portfolio. Now, in addition to that, I always say you want to ease yourself into the play. So as soon as the play hits our buy zone, you don't build your full position at that point in time. That's when you make your first entry. Then you try and grab the stock at a cheaper price point or the same types of levels over time. None of you guys should be building your entire position for at least a month or two in the play. Those over at the Discord know that I make incremental buys every day to get the best cost basis over time. So when the play drops into the red, I can pick it up cheaper. That's why I always say, make sure that you guys have dry powder on hand always to deploy into the markets to grab attractive price points. Those are the buying strategies for you guys. All right, so that wraps up for this one. If you've got any questions for me, drop them down below and I get back to you. I wanna say I appreciate you guys. On your way out, light up that comment section for me. If you're new, join the movement and I catch you on the next one.